Hi, this is HB with ETIP Incorporated. We're taking time today to pass on some information about our peel and stick heaters that you may find interesting. When we first began offering cold weather starting with flexible fiberglass silicone heaters that were directly mounted to the housing on the outside, no drilling, no welding to heat the contents, we discovered that if we were to insulate our heaters, we could drive more energy in at less cost. So we began to search and found flexible ceramic insulation, the best we could find. We added that to our heater kits along with a tube of Permatex adhesive sealer. When you take one of our heaters and mount it on the housing, according to our instructions, then take the insulation with the cutout, dab some of the adhesive sealer in various places, mount it on top of the heater, centering it, seal the inner edge of the cutout, then apply the, the uh, silicone adhesive to the second layer, apply it over the top, then using the silicone adhesive sealer, then go ahead and seal the edges of both the heater and the insulation all the way, ar all the way around. That prevents the intrusion of fuel, solvent, road debris, salt, etc. Any leftover silicone adhesive spread over the top, it increases the insulation. We found that we can more than double, more than double the energy delivered into the housing at less cost, at least 30 to 50 percent less than typical block heaters and achieve the same results in most applications. Come back and see us again. We will have more tips from ETIP Incorporated.